It's as simple as e pluribus unum, from many, one. From many shades of lipstick, one that belongs to her. From a basket of kisses, she picks one. It makes her unique. It colors her kiss. And her kiss, well, it colors her man. Belgely lipstick. Mark your man. I only see one lipstick in your drawing. Women want colors. Lots and lots of colors. Mark your man. It's pretty cute. Oh, you like this? Well, maybe we should cut down to five shades or one. I'm not telling you to listen to anyone, but this is a very fresh approach. It's okay, Kenny. I don't think there's much else to do here, but call it a day. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Is that all? You're a non-believer. Why should we waste time on Kabuki? I don't know what that means. It means that you've already tried your plan and you're number four. You've enlisted my expertise and you've rejected it to go on the way you've been going. I'm not interested in that. You can understand. I don't think your three months or however many thousands of dollars entitles you to refocus the core of our business. Listen, I'm not here to tell you about Jesus. You already know about Jesus. Either he lives in your heart or he doesn't. Every woman wants choices. But in the end, none wants to be one of a hundred in a box. She's unique. She makes the choices and she's chosen him. She wants to tell the world he's mine. He belongs to me, not you. She marks her man with her lips. He is her possession. You've given every girl that wears your lipstick the gift of total ownership. Sit down. information on penny stocks that had huge upside potential with very little downside risk. Does that ring a bell? Oh, yeah, I may have said. Okay, great. Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? Actually, I'm really Name of the company, Aerotine International. It is a cutting-edge, high-tech firm out of the Midwest awaiting imminent patent approval on a next generation of radar detectors that have both huge military and civilian applications. Now, right now, John, the stock trades over the counter at 10 cents a share. And by the way, John, our analysts indicate it could go a heck of a lot higher than that. Your profit on a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. Jesus, that's my mortgage, man. Exactly. You could pay off your mortgage. This stock will John, one thing I can promise you, even in this market, is that I never ask my clients to judge me on my winners. I ask them to judge me on my losers because I have so few. And in the case of Aerotine, based on every technical factor out there, John, we are looking at a grand slam home run. Okay, let's do it. I'll do four grand. 4,000, that'd be 40,000 shares, John. Let me lock in that trade right now and get back to you with my secretary with an exact confirmation. Sound good, John? Great. Hey, John, thank you for your vote of confidence, and welcome to the Investor Center. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Bye-bye. The accounts for his team leader. When I was a junior broker, I did it in 26 days, okay? You're not sending out press packets anymore. None of this Debbie the Time Life Operator bull. So get on the phones. It's time to get to work. Get off your ass. Move around. Motion creates emotion. I remember one time I had this guy call me up. Wanted to pitch me, right? Wanted to sell me stock. So I let him. I got every rebuttal out of this guy. Kept him on the phone for an hour and a half. Towards the end, I started asking him buying questions. Like, what's the firm minimum? That's a buying question. Right there, that guy's got to take me down. It's not like I asked him, what's your 800 number? That's a fuck off question. I was giving him a run, and he blew it. Okay? To a question like, what is the firm minimum? The answer is zero. You don't like the idea, don't pick up a single share. But this putz is telling me, you know, uh, 100 shares. Wrong answer, no. You have to be closing all the time and be aggressive, learn how to push. Talk to him, ask him questions. Ask him rhetorical questions, doesn't matter, anything. Just get a yes out of him. If you're drowning and I throw you a life jacket, would you grab it? Yes, good. Pick up 200 shares, I won't let you down. Ask him how they'd like to see 30, 40% returns. 
What are they going to say? No? You? I don't want to see those returns? Stop laughing. It's not funny. If you can't learn how to close, you better start thinking about another career. And I am deadly serious about that. Dead serious. And have your rebuttals ready. Guy says, call me tomorrow? Bull. Somebody tells you that they got money problems about buying 200 shares is lying to you. You know what I say to that? I say, hey, look, man. Tell me you don't like my firm. Tell me you don't like my idea. Tell me you don't like my necktie. But don't tell me you can't put together 2,500 bucks. And there is no such thing as a no-sale call. A sale is made on every call you make. Either you sell the client some stock, or he sells you on a reason he can't. Either way, a sale is made. The only question is, who's going to close, you or him? Uh, be relentless. That's it, I'm done. All but one. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> oh, have I got your attention now? Good. Because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anybody want to see second prize? Second prize is a set of steak knives. You've got leads. Mitch and Murray paid good money. Get their names to sell them. The leads are weak. The leads are weak. Only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. A, B, C. A always, B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. These are the new leads. These are the Glen Gary leads. And to you, they're gold. And you don't get them. Why? Because to give them to you is just throwing them away. They're for closers.